Hi! So today I have a good friend of mine, Andy. Yes. And we're gonna take your relationship questions, give you the girl's point of view and the guy's point of view. Yes. I can't tell that. Even sometimes now I think like, hi, oh, like so hard, like marriage is so I'm hard. so gonna send this to Kate, oh. You can send her, it's true. I think she thinks about that sometimes also. But I think <laughs> what made it very obvious was that um, like when we, all our living, living habits were similar. Okay. Most. And then our values were similar. Okay. And then uh, it just felt really easy when I was with her. Like I didn't have to try. I wasn't trying to woo her, impress her. It just happened. Yeah. Then to me it was that it's why it worked and then after that I had all my talk with her yeah you know, like oh, okay. oh, what I'm worried about you know if, yeah. I, if you're gonna get married now I'm worried about you know like oh I'm the only girl I'm gonna have sex with all my life and okay what do we think we'll talk about how to deal with it and stuff like that so all my issues were covered and then she at the time she was she was actually 29 and she yeah. talked about having a family yeah and then I'm like okay let's have a family then we cut, that was like six seven months of our relationship <laughs> Wow. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's do something. Wow. Yeah. I think like, well, it takes, it takes a lot longer for me. Like I said, I've done two, three years and I still am like nowhere close in my head to like, uh, I want to get married. I think maybe for me, I don't want a family and I, I don't need to get married. I've always never felt the need to get married and not have a family. So it doesn't, it never really mattered to me. If I'm with you for like three years and I want to go on to the next year, right? means obviously I like being with you enough to like be together. I know this gonna sound very, very cliche, but I think like for me, it was because Someone told me if you find you can either find someone to live with or find someone you cannot live without. So I cannot imagine life without him. Honestly, honestly. Ayoo, yeah, really I know like true, true, true. Because everyone else is like it'd be nice to have if they're there. Right? But I feel like like he adds an actual value to my life that like pushes me to be better. But you cannot live without him. Uh, you will die without him. Not die, but I would rather not live without him, no? I would yeah, rather not he not rather not live and like I Cannot live without. Ah, uh, yeah, the cannot live is just to sound romantic, lah. Uh, yeah. I mean, Not I enjoy having all my exes in my life, but I didn't necessarily want to spend my whole life with them. Cause if they had left, I'll be sad, but I'll be fine. But I felt that if he had left, I would be quite upset. Like it would be, it would change if life. If that was like my, like my yardstick, uh, I've gotten married like like twelve times or something. By Maybe now. you are the true romantic. Maybe your heart <laughs> is softer, like You give it away more easily, lah. I realized that even though my husband and I are so different personalities, <laughs> very different. <laughs> like, yeah, very different. <laughs> really very different. But we have the same values, and he really challenges me. Sometimes, like to the point where I want to strangle him, and we have to like take time out, you know, because we're like talking about something, and we're like, okay, can we just stop? Like, and it's not to do with us even. We're talking about an issue that has nothing to do with us. But it's just such a heated argument, yeah. you know, and then we just push each other. So I think like, yeah, that's the value that he's added that no one else has added. What's the question? <laughs> we have gotten so far away. Yeah, I know. It's the partner that, how do you know if it's the right? Can la, can la, can la. Can la, not that far away la, we have the question one. <laughs>